Hi Aries, welcome to your November reading. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. Let's see what is going on. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, all right? We are coming into the full moon on October 31st if you're watching this in the end of October. Uh, and we have Mars retrograde. So if you've been feeling like things are slowing down right now or like you can't move fast enough, uh, it is because Mars is asking us to assess, reassess, and embrace a slower energy. Boom! Showing up in your reading, Aries. I am digging this. Okay, we got the Ace of Cups and the King of Wands. Okay, this is the general line. If you've never watched one of these readings before, I pull out three cards for, uh, that's too many, uh, three cards for love, romance, three cards for general overall energy, and three cards for career finance. Last one. Ooh, the hermit. Yeah, introspection. I have a feeling that you are brewing something very big right now, Aries, okay? Sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Okay, if this is not resonating with you, go check out your other videos over on my channel. Thank you for your support, your comments, your likes, your subscribes. And remember to turn the bell notifications on because I post new videos every week. And I also go live um, here, Tarot Tuesdays, okay? Free and paid tarot readings. Okay, you can't see the cards. I should move the table. You got the moon. I'll show it to you in a minute for career and finances. Ooh, the four of swords. And the, oh my God, Aries. I just show you this. Let me just show you this. Okay, so this is what you got for career finances. The moon, the four of swords, and the six of wands. Okay, lots of fiery energy. So I do love that you're showing up um, in your reading. I'm just going to push this down until I can fix the desk. So here is what I'm going to say to you, Aries, okay? Um, you are brewing creating something very big in your career and your finances okay a couple of things that i'm noticing here is this is going to be a very emotionally creative um opportunity for you this is something that um comes out of nowhere where you kind of have like an aha moment and you figure out that the opportunity exists for you at this time to perhaps create another stream of income for some of you. For some of you, leave the current career that you're in and move into something that you're really passionate about. For others of you, it's like figuring out the steps you need to take to move up the corporate ladder, okay? Um, this is going to be something very creative and something very juicy for you. Also very fruitful. Like there's a lot of abundance to be had with that six of wands. You know, some of you could even go on um, into the direction of some type of fame or public recognition, or, you know, you get awards at your job if you're in a corporate position or like your company is featured in like a, a local magazine or newspaper or something like that. Okay. Where people are like watching you and seeing you and going like, woo, she's coming. Like she or he is like, coming on up right like th this is their time to shine kind of energy all right so i love this for you okay with the hermit card here i i will encourage you um one you know i was gonna say mind your business but that's not what i want to say um don't tell everyone your secrets okay don't tell other people what you are planning on doing okay um do not share that information keep it all okay until you're ready to present all right um with other things too is um a lot of introspection so so when i look at think look at this spread it's like this burst of creativity that you're having around your career and finances um is going to especially with this four of swords um and this hermit it's like you're going to have to take a lot like some time not a long time but some time to review everything uh plan everything um again mars being retrograde is going to ask us in a big way to just kind of like slow down okay do you know like the financials of everything the business aspect of it the money the profit versus the cost versus like just the, the everything the the granular stuff in regards to this this new shift or this direction you're going in if you're not starting your own business what where more can you get more education it's almost like about 
uncovering the layers in order to find out um and with the the moon here illuminating into the darkness the things that maybe in the past as an aries you know you're so ready to just move and create something new and shift and here we go a new opportunity a new idea boop, 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 boop. but then there's no follow through this is this is complete follow through that i'm seeing and so with the moon it's like it's illuminating everything so that so that you you plan and you create a, a path and a journey towards all types of success, okay? Speaking of uh, new opportunities, I uh, do have something in the pipeline, if you guys have been seeing in the community section or if you're following me over on Instagram as well. I've been kind of dropping little hints about it. Uh, if you're into crystal jewelry, stay tuned, male and female, okay? Um, I may be wearing some of the pieces right now, but I, um, I won't uh, tell you what they are. <laughs> let's see what's going on in love okay oh that's too many the page of what is it oh no, it's too many cards okay let's go three cards please oh man ask and you shall receive okay wow so interesting the page of wands did want to drop out below before okay so in love okay so huh it's very interesting if you have any Pisces in your chart predominantly um, go take a look at Pisces reading um, it, it's I want to say it is the the yin to your yang like it's the exact mirror where Pisces had a very beautiful love reading their finances and career were the opposite this is the opposite um, uh, you know don't love sharing this kind of stuff but obviously some of you do need to hear it okay as you are moving up in your career and your finances um you start acknowledging and recognizing that perhaps the relationships that you had or relationship that you have just doesn't fit anymore the cards you have are the five of pentacles the world the page of wands and the three of wands um for some of you um uh you may be breaking up with somebody, um, moving out. Uh, there's a cycle here of completion. And with the five of pentacles here, I do feel like you might be a little bit sad about it. Okay. Um, it might not be making you feel very good about it. Um, in the beginning, because obviously nobody likes a breakup, but the nice thing about this here with the page of wands and the three of wands is that one with you showing up as the king, whether you're male or female and the page of wands showing up as a page, I do feel like there was an imbalance in your energies, um, where the opportunity here um presented itself that you were um uh i don't want to use this like you were just vibrating at this energy and they, they were vibrating here and it just it just it was it was in a match right and maybe you tried to make it work maybe you thought it could work um but obviously as as time has gone on this has proven to not be um to not be as fruitful or beautiful as it originally presented itself to be, okay? Um, for others of you, if you are single, uh, I do feel like in the beginning of the month, you are feeling a little bit down around your love life. Like, why don't I have love? Why haven't I attracted anybody? You know, um, feeling very lonely, very isolated. But as this career thing starts to take off, as you start recognizing that, you know what, I'm a fucking badass and I'm an Aries, okay? Uh, as you start getting into that energy, you realize, like, I need to close the door on this Five of Pentacles energy and I need to move into manifesting, owning my shit and making a plan and moving forward, looking out into the horizon as to what kind of love I can attract and what kind of love I desire, period, right? Like you gotta make a plan and understand what kind of relationship you want in order for it to come into your life. And that's gonna be a big energy here. For some of you, there even exists the opportunity of new love coming in, but it is a love that's at a distance. Maybe, excuse me, distance. Maybe you knew somebody um, or somebody messages you like via DM or something like that and you guys uh, aren't in the same area, but you end up chit-chatting and having a conversation and um you know they eventually come to where you are or you go to where they are and you're able to finally meet after some type of long distance long distance online relationship or conversation situationship whatever you want to call it all right um overall though i just i feel like this is just a, an energy of like i'm the fucking boss i'm aries i'm the boss they're like the end the 
end, okay? Um, if you're interested in a private reading, I offer live and pre-recorded services, either chakra healing, crystal healing, or uh, tarot readings. Um, you can check out the description box below for all the information. If you want pre-recorded uh, tarot readings, they are more cost-effective, same with the pre-recorded chakra and crystal healing. Um, there is a discount code over from hey, um, from Wizio, sorry, for the tarot readings. I do the chakra and crystal healing over on Hey you Hero for the pre-recorded, all right? Let's see what astrology has for you, the astrology cards. Oh wow, you got a lot. Okay, normally don't do this much, but they clearly want it to come out, so we're just gonna we're just gonna pull them out, all right? Remember? Aries. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just going to say this. I hope you all are still watching this. Like, who the fuck gives a fuck about love right now? Aries. Aries, focus on your money, honey. Focus on your career, your finances. You, like, so what if somebody leaves you? So what if you need to break up? Because where you're headed career-wise, where you're headed financially, I like, I'm, uh, where you are going, Aries, like, you're, no one's going to recognize you. You, like, you're going, I don't want to say you're going to be, like, a star, but, like, maybe, like, you're, you're not going to be eating KD much longer, okay? If this energy is resonating with you, there is no more Mr. Noodles and Kraft dinner and like beans in a can kind of vibe for you, okay? You are moving off to five-star Michelin restaurants, okay? The best of the best of the best, okay? Um, you got waning crescent, surrender, restore, reflection, intuition, stillness, okay? So that aligns so well with the hermit energy here, okay? As an Aries, a sun, and Venus. I am uh, with Estelium in her second house. I'm owning this reading. It's not about me, but this is how good this is. Okay. Remember we were talking about that hermit, that introspection. Okay. Surrender, restore, reflection, intuition. Same with that four of swords, right? In your career and uh, finances. Okay. Surrender, restore, reflect, make the plan. Then we got the 10th house, which is mid haven. Okay ruled by good old Capricorn, okay, and uh, Saturn. This is the house of fulfillment and social status. Here is where we see structure, corporations, tradition, ambition, public image, and fame. Did I not say that? Uh, I don't know why I'm yelling. Uh, discipline, achievements, recognition, rules, and father figure. It is also associated with power and authority as well as the people who exert them. I achieve. <laughs> oh, wow. And then, didn't I tell you guys Mars retrograde may be affecting these things, but you just got to keep on hustling? Mars retrograde showing up right there, baby cakes. Can't make this shit up. You guys see me shuffle the cards. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get your mantra cards. Mantra cards, so one piece for Aries. Thank you. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Yeah, just just own your shit. Sorry, I feel like I'm swearing a lot, and sometimes people are like, mm, you're being so sorry. It's not disrespectful. You can't be a spiritual teacher if you swear. Sorry, that was very low vibrational and mocking. I mocked people there, but yeah, I can swear. I'm allowed to. I can do what I want. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Ah, okay. Remember how I said somebody is coming? For those of you that are not going through this breakup, somebody is coming from a distance, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I've also gotten this card as well. When the more you get to know somebody, the more you realize that um, it's just it's it's just not going to work out, right? Um, you know, sometimes we start off with the purest intentions and the most beautiful vision for a wonderful, long-lasting relationship. And then as we move forward, you realize your values aren't in alignment or things just aren't jiving anymore. And that's okay because, baby, you're on your way to make a lot of cash money and see a lot of success, okay? This is good. 
for you if this resonates. All right, thank you so much for your support, your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Make sure you turn the bell notifications on. Every Tuesday, I go live here on YouTube for Tarot Tuesdays at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. I do free and paid tarot readings, all right? Um, and that's it. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out.